Hi, welcome to my video on the Lee's Common Mullet. The first letter in each word, L, C, and M, indicate the common way to write least common multiples. L, C, M, least common multiple. A multiple is a product of a natural number and a certain number. The natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Multiples of 3 are 1 times 3, 2 times 3, 3 times 3, 4 times 3, 12. Multiples of 10 are 1 times 10, 10, 2 times 10, 20, 3 times 10, 30, 4 times 10, 40, etc. Notice 1, 2, 3, 4 are the natural numbers that multiply by the number to obtain the multiples. Least common multiple is the smallest multiple common to two or more numbers. Multiples of 2 and 3 are 6 and 12, 18, 24, and 30. But the least common multiple, LCM, is 6. There are three ways to find the LCD of two or more numbers. Find the LCM. First method is list the multiples of each number. Steps 1. List the multiples of each number. 2. Select the smallest common multiple of all the multiples, and that's the least common multiple. Let's do some samples. Multiples of 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. Let's go down and do some multiples of 6. 1 times 6, 6. 2 times 6, 12. 3, oh, we have a common multiple. So the least common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12. B, 9, 12, 18. Multiples of 9, 1 times 9. 2 times 9, 18. 3 times 9, 27. 4 times 9, 36. 5 times 9, 45. Let's do the multiples of 12. 12 times 1, 12. 2 times 12, 24. 3 times 12, 36. So we begin to see 36. Multiples of 18. 1 times 18. 18. 2 times 18. 36. Mm, 36 is the least common multiple of 9, 12, 18. Practice. Pause the video, work these out, come back and see if you're right. Multiples of 10. Two, 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times 10 is 40. Let's do the multiples of 15. 1 times 15. 2 times 15, 30. Ooh, we have a 30. It's the least common multiple of 10 and 15 or 30. Notice 10 will divide into 30 and 15 will go into 30. 30 is the least common multiple. 3, 6, and 9. Multiples of 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 3 is 18. And do the multiples of 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 sixes are 12. 3 sixes are 18. 4 sixes are 24. I see an 18 common. Let's see if we go with the 9. 1 times 9 is 9. 2 9s are 18. And lo and behold, we have 18 in each number. So the least common multiple is 18 for 3, 6, and 9. Multiples of 7 are 7 times 1 is 7. 2 7s are 14. 3 7s are 21. 4 7s are 28. 5 7s are 35. Let's check with the 14. We can keep on going, but we want to try to find a match. So once I finish one, then I go to the other. Let's see. 14 is 14 times 1. 2 times 14 is 28. 3 times 14 is 42. Okay, this 42 is, let's try it. 6 7s. Oh, 42. We have a match. 1 times 21 is 21. 2 times 21 is 42. 
So 42 is the least common multiple of 7, 14, 21. Again, long, uh, doing it this way is, you know, you're practicing your multiple, but it takes a, it takes a while to write them all down. Let's try another method to find the LCD, the latter method. Divide each number by a factor of any number. Pick any number when we do this method. Take any factor, or two, or three, or five, whatever's on the go. If not divisible, bring the number down. Do one again with the resulting numbers. Find a, any num any factor that's in the re in the resulting numbers, and keep repeating until the bottom row has all ones. And note if you can't divide into it uh, nicely divisible, then bring the number down. Multiply the factors on the left side, and you have the LCM. Here we go. Two is a factor. So two into six goes three. Can't go into nine. Three goes into three. Once, three goes into nine, three. Three is a factor. One, three into three goes one. All ones. So your LCM is two times three times three, which is what's on the left side. So that's nine times two is 18, or six times three is 18. Let's do uh, four, 10, and 12. What number? Well, there's an even number there, so let's divide by two again. Two, five, and six, when you divide by two. Two again, divide by two. One, can't bring the number down, three. If you can't divide into it, uh, evenly with it, no remainder, then bring it down. Five is a factor, so one, five into five goes once, can't go into three. Three is a factor, one, one, one. Three into three goes one. Have all ones, so the L, C, M, least common multiple, is two times two times five times three. Two times two times five times three. And again, that's four times five is 20, times three is 60. 60 is your least common mobile. And practice, pause, work these out, and come back and check to see if you're working through. Two is a factor, because it's even. Four, uh, five, eight. Eight divided by two is four. 10 divided by two is five. And I see another two. So two into four goes two, but it can't go into five. I see a two again. Two goes into two once, but it can't go into five. Five is a factor. One. Five into five goes one. All ones, so the LCM, least common multiple, is two times two times two times five. Three twos, multiply it, and a five. Well, that's four times two is eight, times five is 40. 40 is the least common multiple. 4, 6, and 14, again even, divide by 2. 2 into 4, 2. 2 into 6, 3. 2 into 14 is 7. 2 again. 2 into 2 goes once. Can't go into 3. Can't go into 7. 3. 3 into 3 goes once. Can't go into 7. 7. 1, 1. 7 into 7, 1. Least common multiple, since I have all 1s. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And what number is that? Well, that's 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 7. You can use a calculator, but you'll get 84. 9, 12, 18. Well, let's try a different one. We can do a 2. Let's try with a 3 first. 3 is a factor of any one of these. 3 into 9 is 3, 3 into 12 is 4, 3 into 18 is 6, and I see another 3. 3 into 3 goes once, can't go into 4, 6 goes into 6 twice. I see a 2, 2 goes into uh, 4 twi twice, and a 2 once, and I see another 2, 2 into 2 goes once, I have all 1s, so the LCM is 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. That's a 9, and there's a 4. 4 9s are 36. 
or I can go 9 times 2 is 18 times 2 is 36, whatever way. Again, you can start with any number as long as it's a factor of one of these. Let's try 5 this time. 5 is a factor. 5 into 10 goes 2. 5 into 15 goes 3. Can't go into 21. I see a 2. So 2 into 2 goes once. Can't go into 3. Can't go into 21. I see a factor of 3. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 21 goes 7. And there's a 7 left. 1, 1. 7 into 7 goes 1. So the LCM, least common multiple. It's 5 times 2 times 3 times 7. 5 times 2 times 3, times 7, and that gives us a 10, and a 21, so that's 210, is the least common multiple. Another method that we can use to find the LCM is what we call prime factorization. Now I like the prime factorization for the LCM because it's, it ends up to be more useful later on. It might not be the shortest way, but it's very useful. Find the prime factorization of each number. Okay, select one of each factor. And select the largest exponent of each factor. Simplify, and you have the LCM. Let's explain what we mean in step three. Select the largest exponent of each factor. Let's say we have a four. Four is two times two, which is two squared. Eight is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2, and that's 2 cubed. Note, we have an 8 and a 4. An 8 is a multiple, a multiple of 4 is 8. So the largest multiple here is 8. So the 8 has the factor of 4 in it. So if you look at it, if we have a 2 squared and a 2 cubed, and we're talking about multiples, then we take the largest exponent which is 2 to the 3, 8. 8 is a multiple of both of these. Let's work the prime factorization. 2 and 3 are already prime, so the least common multiple is 6. Don't have any work to do. 4 is 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. 10 is 2 times 5, which is prime factorization. So we write down, that's three, we have two, we have them all prime factorization done. We select one factor of each. So we have a two and a five as a factor. And we have two to the one, two squared. We take the two squared. We take the larger exponent. Four times five makes 20. So you see 20 is the least common multiple of four and 10. Six is two times three. 9 is 3 and 3. 10 is 2 and 5. So we have the prime factorization done. And we pick out one of each factor. So I see a 2, I see a 3, and I see a 5. And when we do, we have 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 5 is 30. And something... Oh, I... My mistake. Notice, be careful. The 3 times 3 makes 3 squared. So I have to take the largest. How I looked then, I had a, I was going to write a 30 down, but I seen a 9. 9 doesn't go into 30, so I figure out I have an error. So when I was going to write 30, check. 6 into 30 goes 5, but 9 won't go into it. So I, I made a mistake. Yes, it's easy to make a mistake, but it's find your where you went wrong so again three times three is three squared and this is the three squared i have a three here and, and but i have to take the largest exponent and which makes uh 10 times 9 90 now it seems more like it 90 is the least column multiple nine and ten will divide into 90 and six will divide into 90. practice work these out pause come back and see if you're right eight 2 times 4. 4 is 2 times 2. So that's 2 cubed. 20 is 2 times 10. Notice these simple numbers, you can see the factors easy because they're I'm using um, they're even factors of 2. So, so 
So 2 squared times 5 is, so I have the uh, prime factorization of each done. We write down one factor of each, 2 and a 5, and the small, the largest exponent here is 3. We got a 3 and a 2, 5 is a 1, so the LCM is 8 times 5, 40. Notice, in these common multiples, we write down a factor of each, and we pick out the largest exponent. 14 is 2 times 7. 21 is 3 times 7. 84 is 2 times 42. 42 is 2 times 21. 21 is 3 times 7. And prime factorization. Let's write that out. So we have a 2 squared times the 3 times the 7. And the LCM is write down one factor of each 2 and a 7. So I got a 2 and a 7 and a 3. Doesn't make any difference what order we do it. The multiplication is associative. We can multiply whatever way we want. As long as we multiply two numbers and then multiply by the third one. And a 2 has 1, 2 squared right there. There's a 7 in each and there's a uh, 1, 3. So when you put all that together, you will get uh, 21 times 4 is 84. As it happens, the 84, 14 is, is a, multiplied by 3 will give you 84. 21 multiplied by 4, will give, sorry, 14 multiplied by 3 will give you 84. 21 multiplied by 4 will give you 84. So 84 is the multiple of these first two numbers. Let's go on with number 3. 15 is 3 times 5, which is 3 times 5 prime. 18 is 2 times 9, which is 3 times 3. So that's 2 times 3 squared. 27 is 3 times 9. 3 times 3, which is 3 cubed. Careful. And the LCM, we have to write down one of each. So we've got to write down a 3, a 5, 3 and a 5. And there's a 2 right here, so we've got to write down that 2. The smallest, no, sorry, the largest exponent of 3 is 3. And there's only 1, 5 and 1, 2. So that makes it uh, 27 times 10, 270. Notice the least common multiple, least, but we're really, when we pick these out, we're really picking the largest exponent out. Ironically, least common multiple, the largest exponent. Finding the LCM of prime factorization uses many math fundamentals, like factoring, divisibility rules, exponent, Exponential form, division, multiplication. So, good, good to know. The LCM is the least is the least common denominator of fractions. Least LCD, least common denominator. So when you do fractions, and you find the common denominator, you're really working out your your least common multiples. Very important. Very very important in math. Finding the LCD by prime factorization, which is the same as finding the LCM, helps when we're adding and subtracting fractions in all grades. Adding and subtracting rational expressions. Rational ex means fractional, and that's in grade 10 and 11. Expressions are in algebra. And when we solve equations with rational expressions, fractions in them, in grade 10 and 11, very important know how to do the LCM. Let's work out one more. 8 is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2, so that's 2 cubed. 9 is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. 10 is 2 times 5, and right, the only thing we have. 12 is 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3, so that's 2 squared times 3. So the LCM, notice we've got four numbers. Something different. Prime factorization works excellent. 
write down each factor. We have a 2, we have a 3, and we have a 5. And the largest exponent of 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 is the largest. The largest exponent of 3 is 2 and a 1, so we have to take the 2. And there's only one 5. If you notice, 2 cubed is 8, 3 squared is 9, times 5. And if you multiply these two first, you get a 40. And 9 times 40 is 360. Or you can use your calculator. I like to look for 10s all the time when I'm multiplying. And if you enjoyed this video, click on the like button, the subscribe button, notification bell, and if you wish, write a comment up how the video is presented to you. And if you're really interested, visit my math website as mathfullyexplained.com to find information about me, my degrees, my teaching experience, and the teaching strategies that I'm going to use in my videos. I like to help students learn certain ways, certain little tricks, so they're employed. And the channel, my YouTube channel, on this website, the topics that's on my channel, the number of videos on each topic, topics completed are in black font. The topics to be completed are in red font. Thank you. Bye-bye.